from Black Ink Crew Chicago. It's my good friends, Charmaine and Ryan. How you guys doing? Great to see you both. Yes, great to see you. All right, well, before we get into our headlines, how excited are you both for a new season? Has it become monotonous or do you guys still kind of get like the nerves and jitters, Charmaine? I definitely still get the nerves and jitters. I mean, anytime you are filming your life for other people to watch and ridicule and put their <laughs> two cents in and tell you what you did wrong and how your hair look, you know? <laughs> I mean, you're always gonna be nervous anytime you're in that situation, but we're very much excited. What about you, Ryan? Uh, I think just because we've uh, grown so much in the last like year and a half, two years, um, and a lot of things have changed. This is like one of the first times that we've actually been uh, excited for what's about to come out now. You know, we've changed production companies. Uh, we've been able to uh, implement more of our opinions and how, you know, things will be viewed. Uh, so, you know, this is like one of the first times we've been like, hey, y'all go watch it. <laughs> So. Yeah. All right. All right. So more excitement than nerves here. All right. That's good to know. And Charmaine, you know, you just revealed you're pregnant. Congratulations. How excited are you to be on this journey again? I'm super excited to be on this journey again. Nika and I, my husband and I, we were actually trying to get pregnant. Um, and we got pregnant immediately, like sooner than we thought, you know, we was giving ourselves a little time. Yeah. But <laughs> We are so excited. We found out this weekend that it's a girl. Oh my gosh, congratulations. You know, girls run the world. You know that. Girls run the world. So I'm really excited, yeah. And Ryan, are you starting to save up all of your money to realize how much you have to spend on this future girl in your life, Ryan? I just want to make sure you're delineating the appropriate funds. You know, we got like uncle fun is always, you know, like whatever you get at the time, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. If they need anything, they're going to call Uncle Ryan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Of course. I'm calling Uncle Ryan, frankly. Uh, when I, I'm calling Uncle Ryan. He's, a, he's the world's uncle, frankly. Let's get back uh, into your lives. I can't have you both here and not touch on the new season of Black Ink Crew Chicago. Last season, we left off in the midst of shutdown, obviously. Stephen and Jess had to get back to the UK. Charmaine, you just had given birth. And the future of the shop was sort of at stake here. How are the things for both of you now, Ryan? How are we heading into this? Um, I feel like that was the beginning of uh, how you saw things uh, starting to shut down and things that you have to do. So you're going to see like what we went through. Uh, we talk about the things that we went through during the shutdowns, opening back up, and then how our lives are going to move forward now uh, from going through those things. Because a lot of things happened in those times, you know, uh, some some losses, some you know, discomforts, uh, regular life. And uh, these are the results of it. And you'll see how we come out of it um, either clean or dirty. <laughs> so, Well, Charmaine, what about you? I mean, how are you sort of heading into this season compared to how you were last season? Uh, last season, I would say, even though I had a tattoo shop and I had this business, I wasn't very business minded. Um, you know, I lost my mother, I was pregnant. And those are definitely at the forefront of my mind, not necessarily the tattoo shop. And you saw that fall by the wayside a few times um, over the coronavirus. It definitely fell by the wayside because the day I gave birth was the day that the shutdown began. So I definitely was not concerned about the tattoo shop. I was just focused on my baby girl, but you know, no business is successful that way. <laughs> so once, everything opened back up and it was time for me to really like focus on the tattoo shop and set boundaries and set rules and um, obligations. And it's a lot of growing pains for myself and the people that work at the shop. So, you know, tune in to see how that turned out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to your point, I mean, I think one of the big things last year for everyone really was the introspection that quarantine really afforded everyone, prioritizing what really matters in your life. What were some of the kind of the big takeaways for you both? And is there anything that you have learned to implement in your lives from that time that we're actually going to get to see this season, Charmaine? I mean, is it is it your business savvy this this season kind of coming out? Yeah, definitely my business savvy coming out. I've learned a lot uh, from business, not only from Ryan and how he runs his tattoo shop, but also my husband, who's an amazing businessman. He's an amazing entrepreneur. And um, he has really 
just kind of pave the way for our family of being a, a black a black owned business family. Um, so we have a couple of businesses that are extremely successful. Uh, one is called Bay Moss. Uh, some of our greatest influencers are Ryan and Lizzo, um, Bia, you know, everyone, Dame Dash, but taking what he did with Bay Moss and just understanding, like I see how my husband is working around the clock as a owner you don't get time off, you know, as an owner, no matter what you're going through in life, you have to continue to run the business or the business is going to fail. So those are things that I had to take away from seeing how our business blossomed during coronavirus, um, because we, we sell CMOS, which helps with your immunity, right? Yes. So um, seeing how that blossomed, I had to really, you know, understand, like, looking at my husband and how hard he puts in work all day, every day for to keep our company busy and, and afloat. I have to do the same thing with the tattoo shop. I'm not in a position yet where it's going to run by itself. You know, Ryan can take off a month and go on vacation. And like, you know, he has people in place to where he doesn't have to answer every single question that comes through the pipeline and I'm not there yet. So just taking those things in and like understanding my role as a new tattoo shop owner. So it's definitely a, a learning experience. And I drank the Bay Moss and I love it, by the uh, way. Great, we got it to you, great. I, I love it, it was really good. Um, yeah. Brian, as a man who obviously always takes vacation, according to Charmaine, uh, what's something that you sort of <laughs> learned about yourself in the pandemic that you might be implementing this time around, this season? Yeah, um, because I pretty much just learned how to uh, stand on the things that need to happen uh, in in business and in, in in my life mostly. You know, you see me over the years uh, sacrifice a lot of things for you know friends and others, and you know some things that you know aren't you know what you what which which what are desirable. You know what I mean? So like. You know, I would do certain things and it might not be my right decision, but because it goes along with, you know, what's comfortable or what's fun, you know, it end up not being the right choice. So now, you know, through my growth and, you know, through my trials, uh, you know, I stand on more things now than ever than I've ever done because I've gone through them and then I've learned from them and I apply them, you know, but, you know, it's not without hardship. I can't wait to see it. What are you excited for most for fans to see on the season, Ryan? Um, yeah, I'm excited for them to see a, a more real me, you know what I mean? I'm more honest to myself and everybody else, uh, Ryan, than you know, anything else than what they've seen before. What about you, Charmaine? Uh, well, I'm excited for fans to see, obviously they already know that I'm not perfect, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm excited for them to see me not give up and to go through what I'm going through in life, just like many of us have many trials and tribulations, but not one time, even when I felt like, you know, what am I doing, <laughs> doing all of this? Like, what am I doing? Not one time did I give up and I'm proud of myself for that. So I'm excited for fans to see that. So I'm hopefully so that nice. shows after they edit everything. <laughs> <laughs> Once they edit everything, then you guys are going to see me being very successful. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I tell my producers. I'm like, once they edit it, the interview will be very good. Right. It's nothing to do with me. Right. I get it. Well, are there any new cast members this season that we should be on the lookout for that are ones to watch? Anybody that we should know about? I think that, you know, the most important uh, part of this show and the reason why we are even here today is for our core cast um you know we're the ones that are holding it down every season and we're consistent uh our core cast including myself and ryan and then we also have four and don um you know anyone else they come and go everybody's <laughs> replaceable okay everyone's replaceable but um <laughs> ryan do you have anything to add yeah ryan what do you yeah, think I mean about I think, like I said, over time, uh, you know, being in this for, you know, seven seasons in, uh, we, we've grown to know that the people have grown with us and then they, you know, they grow an attachment to seeing us grow and what they appreciate about us. So, you know, trying to bring something in that's new and 
and raunchy and stuff like that. For our audience, that's not the go-to. You know, I think they are uh, more in tune with seeing us grow and, you know, us stick together as much as we can. We lost some people along the way, you know, as we've grown and everybody doesn't stay together as you grow. So to have uh, us still being here, you know, uh, for Don, Charmaine and myself, and then, you know, seeing us grow individually, you know, like I think that's, that's what will be one of the best things to look out for, you know what I mean? Because that's where the comfort level is, that's where the attachment is, and that's where the admiration and respect is. That's absolutely where the aspiration lies. Well, before I let you go, Charmaine, what else can fans expect from this season? This season, you can expect so many things, obviously conflict. Um, you can expect to laugh with us. You can expect to cry with us. Um, you can expect to take sides at times, you know, let us know when we did, we ain't do it right or commend us when you feel like we did do it right. Um, you can expect to see Ryan and I have a different type of relationship this season than we've ever had. And even uh, growing our relationship and it's very genuine. So when I say all of that, guys, we're not like sleeping together or nothing. <laughs> I mean, like a different type of relationship. Just tune in and you'll see what I mean, okay? A deeper relationship. All right, yeah, tune in. <laughs> Take it for everyone. I'm a married but, woman uh, and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, Wait, man, with Uncle Ryan over here. Yes, man. and Ryan's Uncle Ryan, okay? <laughs> People, don't forget to get your new season of Black Ink Crew Chicago Monday, October 4th at 8 p.m. on VH1. 